Hey, this is uh, Board Train Rowdy. We're doing some off-leash backyard training. So it's important that we not only do inside off-leash training, we do outside off-leash training, but we also establish some rules and boundaries with the backyard also, because that's predominantly where they're going to be at, if not inside your house, on a walk, or they're going to be in your backyard. So it's important that we also create those boundaries and rules and expectations outside. A lot of reasons why dogs end up strictly outside dogs are because there's no rules and boundaries inside the home. So they move the problem outside, which all the only thing they do is move the problem outside. So that's why you see all the tore up stuff outside. It was, before that it was all torn up inside. So we're teaching some nice things to practice, some skills to practice out here in the backyard. So we're doing some backyard training, but not by a backyard training. So this is a uh, or train rowdy. So I'm going to show you, just bounce him around a little bit. I'm going to call him to me, have him lay down. Then I'm going to take him out of the video in the grassy area. Let him have a little sniffing around him. Maybe use the restroom. We'll call him back up here, put him back on place. Just see what he does and just show you around how this works. So check him out. Right here. Good job. Come on. Good job. Here. Good cool. Thank you, Rowdy. That good rowdy. So another thing is we don't we have an unspoken stay command. So I'm not telling him to stay. It's implied that he stays. It's automatically given. It's understood. That when I tell you to down, if I tell you to go somewhere like place or kennel, he automatically just does that without me having to constantly remind him. Here. Good job. So I hope you understand that important message about practicing good behavior outside so you don't have it inside and vice versa. You got to do it inside so you don't have it outside. So thank you all for watching.